It's your girl McFly here with the progress report and we are at the BET Black and Iconic Soiree. It's going to be amazing. We got the who's who, the elite of the elite here in Atlanta today. So check us out. Stay tuned. Don't sleep on the progress report. You guys have done a lot for the culture, especially representation of black women Thank on TV. Y'all did that. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Actually, we're the longest running black family reality show in history. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Tawana Braxton, and shout out to the Progress Report. And you guys are amazing. And we are here at the BET Black and Iconic Soiree. And I'm having a ball. And I'm going to have a cocktail. Amen. We're iconic. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Thank you. you look amazing. Thank, Thank you so much. Here. Your outfit is everything. Thank you. Everything. So tell me, what does the word icon mean to you? Icon means uh, stepping into your, your essence, your power, your beauty, and being unapologetic. Uh, and when you when you live and, and everything that you do emanates from that space, you are truly iconic. experience is really powerful, and I think it can't be denied. And we are just really fortunate to be able to celebrate it yeah for sure for, and so you just you explained it so well <laughs> so here at the progress report we have our catchphrase and we ask people what does the word progress mean to you movement yeah. movement I think progress is just this notion of advancing in a way that benefits the masses um, I think progress in my mind can't necessarily be rooted in the individual if it's not advancing the collective it's hard to really define it as progress. You heard it here today. You heard it from Ms. BT herself. Hello, I am Dwayna Haley with Authentique Agency and we are here at the BET second annual Black and Iconic and shout out to Progress Report. He's back in the day. Oh wow. Party line back in the day. Girl McFly, and I'm here with the one and only Carter the Body. Yes, sir. Your life has progressed so much since I first met you, y'all. Let me tell y'all, I met her years ago. I was a kid, I was a teenager, and look at you now. You on TV? Oh man, you never acting, thought. acting. I never thought I would even be here. Like, How does it feel? It, it feels iconic. <laughs> it feels great. It feels, it feels amazing. Um, weight lifted off my shoulders type of thing like I made it even though if I don't do anything else me being in this spot and 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 my position in life right now I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that yeah of course y'all can always go for more and growth I'm, I'm told I'm definitely doing that yeah but just even being in this position right now is a dream so what does the word progress mean to you growth just constantly growing. Constantly growing. That's all you can do is be a better a better version of yourself every day. It's already out. Please watch season 3B on All the Queen's Men, BET Plus. There you go. It's your girl McFly and I'm here with Tyel Hayes. How are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Awesome. Good. So we're here at the Black and Iconic Soiree. So tell me, what does it mean to be Black and Iconic? For me, Black and Iconic really is about living in your personality, living in your purpose, being someone who's actually contributing and moving culture, creating culture, driving culture. Okay, so how as black people can we continue to move the culture forward? I think it's about creating space where every black person can be can be a part of it. If you think about what Beyonce did at Renaissance, you have this amazing venue where everybody showed up as they were. If we can do more of that inside the black community, then everyone feels safe, feels welcomed, and can feel like they're at home. I appreciate you. Right. You look real good. Oh, thank you so you much. Did. Thank, thank you. you. It's your girl McFly, and I'm here with Dominique Morgan. So, Ms. Morgan, tell me, what does an icon mean to you? Um, an icon is somebody who, of course, does incredible work, but they leave a blueprint. Yeah. Um, I, I think the most iconic people are not afraid of other people to come behind them and be as powerful, if not more, because they know their power. Um, that That's the secret sauce of an icon within the queer community. Mm. We can be better. I love that. Okay, so what does the word progress mean to you? The word progress, I think, is very individualized, but just moving forward. And as someone who, 15 years ago, I was walking out of a prison. Today, I have a degree from Georgetown, Stanford, and I run the largest trans fund in the world in philanthropy. Sometimes my progression was, I got up and I got out of bed. And sometimes that progression was, they named the street after me last year. And so, move forward and, and celebrate those, those moments because it's all going to get you to the destination. I love that. Thank you. I'm your girl McFly, and I'm here with...
with Miss Major, the Pioneer of the Year Award recipient. Hello, Miss Major. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. How does it feel to be the recipient of the award this year? I'm surprised I'm being nominated, so I'm shocked. Yeah. shocked, yeah. Well, you deserve it. So tell me, what is what does it mean to be a pioneer, to be an icon? What does that mean to you? Well, to me, it means nothing, but <laughs> to the people, it means something to them. And if they put bushes on, on you, then I got to take you know. So how does it feel to you for so many people to look up to you, for so many people to love you and admire you and look at you as such a big pillar in the community? How does that feel? It feels good to my heart. It feels wonderful, warm, accepting, and nice. It's, I'm Miss Major, and shout out to the party support. Here with Dr. David John. It's all about him today. We're celebrating him today. How are you doing today? I am fantastic. There's no food like soul food prepared for you by people who know you. So to be in this space where we are unapologetically black, unapologetically queer as fuck, and loving on one another feels really, really good. You gotta have a therapist when you do work outside of the session. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a therapist, visit mbjc.org. Last year, we partnered with Taraji P. Hinton's organization and provided up to 300 black LGBTQIA plus youth and about 100 of our elders with access to competent and free mental health services. Nice. We're having issues. <laughs> <laughs> it's my sister. I love to okay, so what does the word progress mean to you? Oh, well, I think of Douglas's quote, without progress, uh, without struggle, there is no progress. So progress for me is the result of the work. It is a result. It's uh, Progress only makes sense in the context of the work. Uh, and so I really love the progress that I am making individually, but I'm more so focused on the progress that we're making as a black collective. I'm Ebony K. Williams, and you're watching The Progress Report. Y'all, it's your girl, Big Klein. I'm here with who? Gary with the T. <laughs> How are you doing today? Girl, I'm fine now that I got through this line. I know. We all want to talk to you. Everybody wants to talk to you. So tell me, when you think of the word icon, who's the first person that comes to mind? Um, Diana Ross. I'm going to give it to Ms. Ross, though. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, what, what, what does define icon? What? I mean, Someone who stands in their truth. You're an icon when it comes to fashion because you don't play about your fashion. No. And I don't play about not telling the truth, neither, baby. Tell the truth and shame the devil. This is Gary T, and I'm shouting out to the progress report. Let me tell y'all something. Remember, we used to get um, progress reports in school, mm -hmm. and I always got a C. <laughs> <laughs> Will you get an A with me today? Thank you, darling. I'm so glad I finally get an A. I guess, honey, being at this iconic event gives me an A. That's right. And you are an icon, and we appreciate you. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Thank you. Daniela LaRoche. How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. Happy to be here with you, of course. Yes! It's so crazy because when I recognized who she was, I'm like, wait a minute! It was getting real love. She gave me that fake love at first, and it was good, but the real love hit different. It did. This, this country is set up to make black people be a step behind in so many different type of ways. Um, so I think that I have to understand that I'm living for the little girl that's not even born yet. Right? It's important for me to keep moving. It's important for me to be a trailblazer in whatever it is. If if you're working in the community, social, you know, politics, whatever you're doing. We got Kamala. We got Beyonce. We have so many people, so many black women in so many different lanes, genres, pushing the envelope. And I think we can't be afraid to fail because, you know, think about how many people had to go to jail and be locked up for just drinking out of a water fountain. Now I can drink out of any fountain I want to. So it's up to me to keep trailblazing so that next little girl can take it farther than me and understand that every generation is stronger than the one before. Lauren, how are you doing, Miss Lauren? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing well. I've been following your career for a very long time. I used to live in California when you were first on Housewives, and I wanted you to do my hair so bad. So bad. I knew you. I was like, oh, that's when you do my hair. You are amazing. Thank you. One of the things I love about you is that you're you. Okay, so tell me, what does the word progress mean to you? Progress. Um, I think it's simple. Progress means that when you wake up one day, you are better than you were the next day. Okay. Today. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing amazing. So tell me, when you think of the word icon, who's the first person that comes to mind? Oh, of course. Our mother RuPaul is like the first one that I think of. Absolutely. So what makes up a great icon? Absolutely. A great icon is someone that's going to be themselves no matter what. They're going to make sure that they're showing their gift, but they're also going to make sure they're pulling others behind them. So they have that level of fortitude to make sure that they're always going to amplify other voices and not just their own. Absolutely. I love it. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Absolutely. What you're doing is major for the culture and we appreciate you. Me as a bisexual woman, this is a major situation, so I appreciate it. Fly. 
we here at the Progress Report. Are you black and iconic? I am. Then let's go. Here. Click the button, y'all. See y'all there.